I have truly lost my mind. I truly have. I am going out. It says 113. My computer said it was 115. It is 3 o'clock in the afternoon and I need to go shop. It's just the time frame that I have. So what do you do? You go shop. Let's go. really says 117. That's what I believe it is. I guess I was in the shade before. Um, yeah, I'm crazy. What am I doing here? But you know what? The parking lot's full, so I'm not the only crazy person coming to Goodwill to go shopping on a very hot day. I only have one hour because I have to go pick Rachel up from camp. And, and I do these really quick trips to help some of you who are spending like hours outsourcing to develop your fine-tuned skills on how to go in there, pick what you can, you know you can sell easily and don't spend a lot of time looking things up, all of that, develop that like inner instinct of what to grab and get yourself out the door. So with that, I'm gonna get in the door so I can get myself out the door. Let's go. All right, let's get in here. All right, I am right underneath the speaker, so I have to keep talking or we're gonna be in trouble. I spotted this, it's kind of cool, water bottle, one half gallon. I don't think it's that old, but it's got a really neat look and I think I'm gonna pick it up for $5.99. Okay, let's see what else we might find on these little shelves. I'm going to try to get away from this music fairly quickly, but these are the good shelves, unfortunately, so it could be tricky. And I just gotta tell you, Noah is doing most of my video editing now, which means doing voiceovers would be even a more hard, more harder, more hard than it already is. So really trying to avoid that and avoid copyright strikes. Fuse glass, that is a cool yellow piece with little bubbles in it too. For $2.99, we're gonna grab that. All right, we are off to a good start. This is a nice shell box for $3.99. These actually do pretty good, so I'm gonna pick that up too. This is super interesting to me. It actually looks like it's a candle kit. It's got real beeswax in there uh, with little fake bees, of course, but it's all in I don't know if that's German or Swedish or it's the Mueller Curzon Company. Uh, that's super interesting to me and I'm gonna figure out more about it by paying $3.99. And then I spotted a piece of clear glass here, which I don't normally pick up the clear glass, but this is actually like a 1920s, 1930s piece possibly McKee. I can tell that by the weight, the feel, the quality, and it's $4.99, so I'm gonna pick that one up. Okay, this is a score for me because I actually was looking for just these colors to add into my big clamshell that's gonna be on my porch, and I'm excited because this is one of the missing pieces to finishing the project. I'm picking those up. Now I'm noticing this tile here. It is made in China. Eh, $3.99. It's got the like warning thing. There's not like a special artist or anything. Ooh. It's not telling me what color. I'm listening for the color. What's the color? Tell me the color. Gray. Gray is 50% off. Oh, look at This is cute. It's all there, brand new, in the box. 
for $2.99. Okay, now you know where I'm at. Uh, there we go, Cheyenne Commons Goodwill. <laughs> I am gonna grab this for $2.99. This is pretty cool. Then there is this zebra tile. It's not as heavy as I thought it was gonna be. It's $4.99. Mmm. I, you know what? That is pretty cool. And it's mama and baby, which is always a good subject matter. I'm gonna pick that up for $4.99. All right, let's see what's in this little baggie. There is a little bejeweled elephant, some small pieces of pottery. So there's like four things in there, makes them like a dollar each. Oh, he's like a, I don't know, that's pretty interesting. And if nothing else, I can group things together and make an interesting little lot for the live sales. But my curiosity kills me sometimes. I want to find out more about this stuff. So I'm grabbing it. So this right here has a broken ear, sadly, or I would have had to have grabbed that. But that's that's a pretty bad broken ear. So don't tell Rachel I left the horse behind. Just don't tell her. All right, these rooster plates are cool. There's two of them. They are, oh, they're from Portugal. Fiance de, why do I even try to read this stuff? Because, no, I just can't read it. Did I even show, was I off screen when I was showing that? Because I wasn't looking, I was trying to read. All right, we are gonna pick those up for $4.99 each. Spotted this little ballerina slipper. It's uh, it's resin, It's it's a toe shoe, and it's just got a really nice little look to it. I have to pick that up for $1.99. And right in front of it, right in front of it is this little, just a little painting, a little, this is known as A-C-E, A-C-O, it's A-C-E-O, A-C-O, yeah, I'm saying that right. They're just like little miniature paintings. I can feel the texture on this. It's a real painting, really pretty, and it's only 99 cents, so yeah, we'll get that. Oh boy, they have all of these Liberty Falls houses and my history with these is that they just don't bring much and the fact that they've been here all week, all the resellers I'm sure have looked up comps on these and they're just not doing that great. Um, they're half price, but even at that, um, it just don't feel like they're worth picking up. I mean, I'm gonna run comps again and show them to you, but yeah, I think I'm gonna leave those behind. All right, what is on this shelf? We got some gold tone monkeys. And a couple little trinkety trinks. Nothing that is really exciting me. I mean, stuff I'll look at, but it's not really exciting me. Wary house, it says. What do we got in here? We've got a little, oh, it's broken. Little horse thing is broken off. And we got these little guys. Somebody's opened the package to see what they are. So, oh, there's Sebastian. Now I just looked up some Sebastian things and Sebastian does really well, actually. $2.99 for all these little Sebastian figures. Hmm, they're from paintings. You know what, I'm gonna pick those up for $2.99. All right, let's see, what else can we find? Hmm, $1.50. It's a newer piece. It's not horribly exciting, but it's a nice color and it's like a good filler piece down at the booth. So that's why I'm sitting here contemplating it for $1.50. I mean, I could probably get like 10 bucks for this down at the booth, um, but I like the color. The color is what's drawing me. So I think I'm gonna grab that for $1.50 because it's half price. So I see this little, little angel, I got something else in my hand over here. See this little angel? She does appear to be vintage. I'm not sure about her little hands, what's going on there though. It, was she holding something that's missing? They do want $2.99 for her and I think that's the reason I'm gonna leave her behind. But she was worth an honorable mention. This is what I picked up. A girl should be two things, who? and what she wants, Coco Chanel. It's a coaster, it's like a single coaster. Uh, it's $1.49, but I like it. All right, let's peek through the candles. Never know when we're gonna find a glass babies, something or other in here, or something else maybe exciting. 
I'm not seeing anything exciting today, though. That one's a little bit interesting, but not totally interesting. Yeah, nothing there. A little more holiday stuff over here. I think we are finally starting to escape the very, very loud speakers. Uh, I don't see anything here. I was watching Tiffany from Thrifting Vegas at this store in one of her recent videos and she uh, looked at these and said they were modern and they are modern but you know who uses these in their de home decor? That would be me and so I'm so excited they're still here and I'm picking them up for me. All right, let's start looking through the Christmas. Boy, they have loaded the shelves with Christmas. It's almost like they were stockpiling and waiting. What is this? It's a little house with numbers, keys. Keys each have a number, so you open the little doors. I'm not sure what that's all about. It's kind of interesting. I think it's a toy though, and it's, yeah, wooden doorbell house. It's a Melissa and Doug. Oh, so maybe doorbells go off or something? Is that what that's about? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, Thule. Hey, is this really called Tool or Thule? I like to call it Thule because that's how it's spelled. And, you know, hooked on phonics and all. I'm picking up the Thule for Misty at Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter. All right, I don't see anything else on that shelf. So we are moving along. We are moving along as absolute quickly as possible uh, because I don't want Rachel to have to stay out there waiting for me one minute past when she's able to be picked up just because it is so stinking hot. So I am moving quickly, moving quickly. Oh my gosh, are those gnomes, elves, they're elves. Winterfest Pollen Machado. Were these like an Ikea thing? They are like an Ikea thing. They're $2.99. Um, those are pretty cool. Let's see if I can get candles home unmelted. All right. We don't usually find this much in the Christmas section at this point in the year, but for some reason, stuff is calling to me today. So we'll go with it. We'll just go with it. Look at the little wine holder and wine charms. That is awful cute. $3.99 and then there's a the little holiday serving pieces there. $3.99. Hmm. I'd almost want to put that in a lot together. I mean those are those are those are pretty cute. Yeah, you know what? I'll either give it as a gift if it's not worth reselling or I'll just keep it for myself. But I like them. They're cute. Oh Kadoka, let's see. There's anything else here in the Christmas goodies I can't live without. And then let's see if we can get even further away from that speaker that is like really super loud today. It's a little, it's a little tree on plastic. Hmm. I don't see anything else we need to pick up today. All right, now we're in like the wood, the wood goods, wood goods. And uh, looking for anything. You know, I like my signs. I think I have this one actually. Ooh, there's two in there though. What's the second one? What's the second one? You know what it is? It's like, there's three like this. Now my inspiration wall is pretty big and I, and I have one of those already. So we will pass those by. I'll have to show you my inspiration wall sometime. I have to find places to add that stuff in because it, you know, it doesn't make for a whole video. Wow, that's his big sign right there. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just got to find places to uh, put that stuff into the end of the video. See, that's why you got to watch to all the way to the end of the videos because if I'm going to add stuff like that, that's where it's going to be. You know what? Another little shelf for Rachel. I can fit a couple little horses on that. I'm going to pick that up. Okay, I am trying to figure out what language this is in. And obviously this is some famous sculpture somewhere, but that's um, not anything that I recognize. But it's cool. And I just found her another little shelf for $3.99. Yay, Rachel's room is going to get done too. 
And then I looked up and I see these cobalt blue. Now they are newer, so they're, you know, nothing super expensive, but boy, look at the look on those. And people love cobalt blue glass and bet, I bet one of my viewers is gonna reach out and say they want those. So I'm gonna get those. Oh, right, let's see, anything else on these shelves? Another heart lamp. She's got plenty to paint right now, so I'm not gonna pick up another one of those. These are small. I do pick up plate holders for the booth, but these don't hold much, I have found, and I have plenty of those, so we're leaving those. These are probably Pimpernel. Pimpernel does well if it comes like in its original containers. Loose like that, not so much. All right, I think we finished off this section. Let's keep going. I'm in the artificial flower section here, which I don't really film too much of, but this guy, if he wasn't broken, would have been so cute as a little garden, little garden guy, but darn it, he's got that broken, broken little antenna there. Sorry, baby, you'll find a new home with someone. I am sure of it. All right, now we're in the planters. This is a nice look. Can you see that crazing though? Ooh, doggies, that's a lot of crazing. And I don't think it's as old as it's made to look. Not sure about those. Some little simple vases, nothing special. This one's kind of interesting, a little, little drip, but look at that, made in China. Yep. And up here, we have some made in China glass. This is a very, very typical made in China glass. See it a lot. Ooh, that has no weight at all. That was originally $5 in uh, probably like Target or something. So nothing exciting on the vases. And let's see if there's anything in the clear vases. Well, I'm not seeing anything that's calling my name. And not a lot of time to really, really fine tune through it. So we're gonna keep moving. Over in the dishes now, look at the purple in these bowls. Holy moly, that is purple. There's a sticker on there that I'm not sure what it says. There's $3.99 each bowl and one of them has a chip, so. We will leave those, but I just had to point out the purpleness. Boy, I'm just, now I'm finding a lot of purple. Uh, when I was looking for purple for my purple sale, I was having some trouble and now I see it everywhere. And I don't know if my brain is just Oh, Graydon Hall, that's a good brand. Um, I don't know if my brain is just more fine-tuned to it now or what, but purple's everywhere. It's everywhere. Look at this set. Very mid-century looking on these. Make sure those are not... I know some of them are taped together. There we go. I knew some of them were taped together. So that's that Mikasa Indian Fest Rising Sun. These are saucers. Generally, saucers are not going to be the piece that you want to sell alone. Got a piece of glass here. It's really, well, maybe it's not, is that chipped? Or is that just where the, that's weird. I think that's just where the um, pattern kind of comes to the end. I don't know. I don't know what I have here, but you know what? It's only 69 cents. So I'm gonna figure out what I have here by buying it and doing a little homework. And here's some more purple. These are interesting because they have a white border. They're very, very thin. I mean, they're hand blown. They've got some little pimply bumps in them. There's three, there's one for 69 cents and there's a pair for $1.99. I don't know. I just don't know how I feel about those. I don't think they're anything that special. So we'll leave those for somebody else. Leave it for somebody else. But we are going to look at this little bunny dish. Little textured bunny dish says hand wash only. Hmm. It's really, really heavy. And for that reason, and the fact that we are so far from Easter, I'm going to leave that behind. But he's cute. It's definitely cute. All right. Let's see. What else we can find? Here is a little coaster. I think Wheaton Glass makes these. This is Mont Pelaire Cazabo. I don't know what that says. It's 69 cents. 
How can I possibly go wrong for 69 cents on an Amberina glass piece, no matter what? Okay, I don't see anything else except this big ol' honkin' platter that I just had to take a peek at. <laughs> but it's nothing. Okay. Well, hello there. Who are you, little owl? Because I sure like you for 69 cents. You're amazing. Let's go in my cart. And that guy was sitting right in front, which tells me this isn't all that picked over. And, oh, big lots. Almost fooled me on that one. <gasps> Ooh, this is a My Little Pony, isn't it? Or is it just a magical unicorn by natural life? Either way, it's very, very cool. And it's also only 69 cents, so we're gonna get it. And then we've got Goofy. I think Goofy would have had a lid. And he's four dollars. I am pretty sure this would have had a lid. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave Goofy for somebody else. Again, I always get asked, you know, why do you leave stuff that you can make money on behind? And it's like, because I don't need to pick up every single thing. I want other people to be able to find things too. And I'm okay with that because I have plenty of things to sell. I am very blessed. Members Mark, I love you to the mountains and back. That is a cool cup. It's made to look like enamelware, but it's not. It's a ceramic mug and it's only 69 cents. So we're grabbing that one. I swear I have seen this pattern showing up in multiple Goodwills. I think they split the donation up into many of the different stores, which is a little sad actually. I thought this might be like a Minnie Mouse thing, but it's not Disney. It is not Disney. Let's see what else. I don't see anything else in the mugs. Let's keep moving. All right, let's check out some glasses. Ooh, they got lots of the cobalt blue thing going. I have so many glasses to get photographed and listed right now that I am really holding back on getting too many more, unless it's something truly special. Jack Daniels is pretty good, um, but it's not super special. Here is another. I've been picking up some of these nice decanters. This one says Old Forester Kentucky Bourbon. It's got the cork. I'm going to leave that because I have other ones right now. I'm going to see how they do before I pick up more. And I find them fairly often, so we don't need to get that one. All right, now we are in the clear. I don't know if you've noticed in your Goodwills, uh, but there's a lot of champagne flutes showing up. And that is because I think weddings have come and gone. We probably have more weddings than normal here in Las Vegas, of course. Um, but I am seeing a really big rise in the amount of champagne flutes. All right, nothing else here. All right, we are in the kitcheny, kitcheny section. And I spotted this little plate. Don't know who done it, but it's only 99 cents and that makes a really good giveaway. Cute little salt and peppers, but they're pretty modern and missing their stoppers. That's two strikes against them. I don't see anything else on this shelf. Let's see if there's anything on this shelf. Yeah, I don't think it's meant to be today to find anything in this section. I just realized just now, this whole time, it's like my camera has been zoomed in. Eek! I sure hope all that footage well, turns out okay. Um, but I just had to show that I just spotted an entire shelf full of the old decanters. And it's tempting, but they want anywhere from $7.99 to $12.99. So that, that, those get left. And then there is a little elephant here. But again, it's... He's really nothing special, and they want $4.99 for him. And also, whoop, don't worry, no bunnies were harmed. I saw Tiffany also pick these up, but guess what? Now they're half price. I'm gonna pick these bunnies up for $1.50 each. Okay, that's just, is that just odd that there's a little dish of pepper? I, I mean, that's just odd, right? <laughs> Here's the tea set. That Tiffany passed by the other day, and I'm also gonna pass it by due to price. So $1.99 on that piece. Again, nothing exciting. 
Nothing exciting and nothing exciting down there. This is an interesting piece. Now what's even more interesting is that there's a $3.99 gray tag and then there's this blue tag that does not belong, does not belong. Um, but I like the B on the center of this. There is, okay, this is weird. It's, there's like something spilled on the side, almost like paint and it, and it's like they painted over the bottom too. So I don't quite understand what's going on. They painted over these poor bees. That's what it is. What is going on here? Why did they paint over the bees on the outside? And can I get that paint off? You know what? Uh, it's $2 and I'm kind of up for the challenge. I once again have a speaker directly over my head. So we have to look at this shelf quickly and grab these owl salt and pepper shakers quickly. I don't know how much they are. We'll have to find out at the register. I just spotted these cute little lamps up here. One's got like a schoolhouse, a little yellow building. Oh, it's only $2.99, City Hall. And I'm looking to see, are they the, no, they're different. Oh, it's got little lambs and it's got the church. You know what? Those are super cute. I'm picking those up for $2.99 each. Okay, my time is up. It is four o'clock. I have to get checked out and I have to go pick up Rachel. So I didn't get a chance to look at textiles. I didn't get a chance to look at pillows and all of that stuff. Um, and it is what it is. So I do have a nice cart full though. I have a nice little cart full. I got some personal things. I even found some clothes. Well, I, I found these really quick as I was just coming in some t-shirts. But I pretty much showed you everything except the little Charlie Brown Christmas tree, which is going to be displayed down at the booth when we get closer to Christmas. So it's time to go check out.
right, you definitely do not want to sit in the car without the air running for any length of time right now in Las Vegas. It says it's 117. I believe it. It feels like it. It's an oven. <laughs> All right, so I, I am. I, I got 10 minutes to get over and get Rachel, so that's why I'm talking fast. Uh, but that was a good trip. Got some really good things for some good prices and got some clothes for myself that I desperately needed. And I picked those in like five minutes. They, they, they were all sitting there at the end of the rack as I was walking by. Boom, boom, boom. Yep, I'll take that and that and that. I love when it happens that way. If you saw something that you can't live without, be sure to email me, but include a screenshot for me so I know which item it is because I'm taking so many videos and buying so much stuff I don't always remember. Uh, so that's very helpful if you could just include that and your zip code so we can figure out shipping. Happy to sell it to you before it hits eBay and before it hits my live sales. And I will have a live sale this Friday, as I do every Friday, at 1 p.m. Pacific time, selling lots of the goodies that you see me buy in these videos. So, hope you can join me for that as well. And now, I'm out of here. Go be profitable and make it fun. And we'll see you on the next one.